Hi, today is a continuation of our previous video. In our previous video, I was able to illustrate how you can define material that is uh, rigid for the ball and uh, plasticity material for the base plate. Today, we want to define the section for the both materials. Therefore, you go back, you just minimize mat and select section here. You look for the shell. Remember this body it has we, we used z axis as a zero when we were creating the base plate. Therefore, we have to define the shell. Double click the shell and add. It is, a, it is a good habit to rename your sections. We need to use an for the for the parameters, our main parameter will be NIP. This means number of integration points. The higher the NIP, the, the more precise our values will be. Let me use 4. Remember the higher the NIP, the higher the precision we get, then the more the computing power is, the more the computing power. For the thickness, we need 0 0.1. This plate to be 0 0.1. You press enter then accept done that's for the shell then we need to remember this body we used solid therefore we have to select solid here and for the solid we just we just we just have to give the name therefore solid section add solid section accept done we have a solid one here and a shell we have both now the section two elements and we have material two elements the next step is now to assign the material to the part and section to the part therefore you go to part here you double click on the part we have the plate shell we didn't have a uh, what happened Okay, we double, double click on the part here. It seems the ball we just let me let me just cancel this here. This is a plate shell, and we need uh, our ball shell here. Okay, we, did, we have to delete one of them. Plate shell, delete, done. Yeah. Therefore, you have to go back to create keyword. For the part here, we need a second part. We, 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 I think there's someone who made a mistake. We used one name to define both parts. That is a mistake. You have to, I have to go back to keyword. And you have to go back to mesh. For the mesh, you select how to recreate the part again shape here i want to use a, a sphere solid here is where we made a mistake we forgot to rename always rename the the part ball like that okay just that everything remains by default done just that therefore if you go back to fm model and keyword manager this is whereby you define the material you define various parameters therefore can see now our part is back two of them after deleting one because you are using the same name yeah we have a ball and a plate you can see now always make it a habit of renaming your parts for ease of uh, simulation okay the next thing we need is now to assign material to ball and section to ball and steel to plate shell. We select the plate shell here. MID, this means material index or material ID. And we have section ID. Therefore, if you select now, select the first part, that is a plate shell here. Then we have to use what we call we have to select the 
you, you, you select the section here. I don't know why it is not responding. It's about to respond. Okay, double click material to see. Uh, let me let me select add. Okay, when you select the material, the you, you, you have to press inside there, then for the section, there's a shell section done. For the material, we are using, for the plate, we are using aluminium, done. Ball again, section, solid section, done. For the material, Still rigid, done. That's how you be, uh, that's how you define material and section.